They don't like to have people be cruel to one another. They don't like to have people murder one another. They don't like to have people just doing things to each other to destroy one another in any way, emotionally, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Those are the things that they don't like, and it is their place as holy people to be righteously angry. <laughs> Tenne <laughs> She don't need to. Is he being as a way net all day? In the uh, traditional teachings of our people from a very early age, when we're very young, we are told about anger that we call such hair. And it is that we are told that anger has absolutely no value. It can accomplish nothing, and it is a thing that has no purpose in the way that we try to make our lives. And uh, if we allow anger to come into our life every so often, we can lose direction. We can uh, forego plans on that that we have thought about and uh, the way to make your life. And of course, then at the same time, it destroys any hope or faith that we have in ourselves and in other people. So the uh, ideas of the teaching of anger, it uh, produces hatred, it produces resentment, and it uh, solves nothing. And so when uh, you think of journeying on the beauty way path, you cannot journey the beauty way path with anger in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit. It cannot be done. You have to be able to understand that uh, hatred and anger, rage, and those types of things cannot be your character when you are trying to journey on the beauty way path. And we are told to avoid it at any cost. And uh, it is unwise. The Ohwit of the is being unwise. And it is... Uh, being ignorant, that uh, you allow anger to uh, take over your thinking and then do things in an angry way. And so it brings to a halt all of the good intentions and it destroys your character. And so the teachings of our people is that uh, there are things in that that happen in our environment, our uh, association with other people, and it is that uh, there are things that probably we can become unhappy about and hurt our feelings. And the first thing we may want to do is to be angry about it. But we're told that it does nothing. Is the way that we are told that it is anger has no purpose. And you cannot allow it to enter into your heart or to your mind and uh, to resolve issues. Every now and then, you know, we hear about some time here a couple of years ago down in the southern part of the reservation, they were having a, a chapter meeting and the people got angry with each other and uh, came down to where they were actually physical contact, physical combat of some kind. But uh, they didn't solve a problem. They created more problems. And on top of that, more problems. So it is that it destroyed relationships, it destroyed the way that people try to work together and resolve problems, and uh, the effects of what took place back then is still very much evident in their community. And so it is that uh, we understand more plainly the, uh, the great dangers of anger. Anger fuels hate, and it fuels... Uh, 
the resentments in that, and it just continues to grow, and it grows very quickly. And it spreads to all kinds of uh, people. And so it is that it cannot be given birth with your reaction or with your attitudes. And the, the behavior in that, if it's part of your behavior, you should get rid of it. And recognize when anger is, is into your heart or into your mind or into your spirit, that you don't react in a way that uh, would be damaging to all of the efforts in that that people are trying to, to work out. And the other thing is that uh, we were just discussion, discussing the idea of righteous indignation or righteous anger. And uh, we concluded that uh, the only people that can have that righteous anger or righteous indignation are the holy people. We in no way can even consider ourselves in many ways to be fully righteous and that we can judge and we can determine all kinds of things at a drop of a hat. It's that only the anger and that of the holy people. They don't like, they have come and said, you know, there are things that they don't like. They don't like to have people be cruel to one another. They don't like to have people murder one another. They don't like to have people just doing things to each other to destroy one another in any way, emotionally, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Those are the things that they don't like, and it is their place as holy people to be righteously angry about those things. And it is that uh, anger does not have any rewards. It has great consequences, and the consequences after the anger is displayed in some particular situation, either through jealousy, hate, or any of the uh, negative emotions, we feel it for generations. And so it is that we are told that that which is to say there is no purpose, especially in a relationship of a husband and wife. There is no place for anger in uh, a family setting. And it is that you never ever discipline your children while you are angry. And I think the traditional way when they used to have to discipline a child, they used the uh, four strands of uh, yekka, and they would have to go out and select four strands or eight strands and come back and then do the lashing of the legs as part of their discipline and uh, punishment. But that was uh, a good thing because by the time you went out there and you selected the uh, yekka, it was quite a walk. And it gives you time to cool down and to think there's a better way to do this discipline. And so you would then not have anger involved, that you would make it a, a teaching experience and to uh, help your child grow in greater understanding of the way things are done as the net. And so it is that the teaching of anger, it has no purpose and it's destructive and it accomplishes nothing. So that out of and you had to touch him, hot niggi, is what we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.